Alrighty, here we are. 5150 New Beginnings. Um, Aaron Ren just saved a bank robbery, right? Uh, now, I, I have recently discovered that there is actually a um, whole section for, like, uh, you know, getting questioned by the police. So next time we're dealing with police, we will do that. Uh, I've been doing that a bit wrong, but there we go. Now, I had a look at the rules. What, what can we do in the month of October? We've got a voluntary encounter. And so... Um, there is this list. This is the list of all the things we can do. But I feel like, you know, like we could just jump straight to job offer or whatever. But I feel like, you know, that's that's not quite... The story is evolving itself, right? Like we've had these things happen uh, and maybe we can do stuff. So he's got a bit of reputation happening now. He's, you know, got the word out. He's, you know, stopped this this criminal thing. You know, he's, he's asking everyone for some work. What I thought we might do is... Um, I went, I got the list of the voluntary encounters, you know, 13 types, and um, technically speaking, mining and salvage, I think you're meant to have a spaceship, uh, but I think both of those things can be done on land, so we will um, we will try that. Piracy, not really, like you need a spaceship to be a pirate <laughs> or access to that. Same for hauling cargo and hauling passengers, right? So um, I've, I've not done those ones either because I don't have a vehicle as a character. Maybe that's something I need to upgrade and, and get. Um, but we'll see how we go. I think I'd like to be a bit more successful uh, before we are doing, you know, that kind of level of, of work. So <laughs> well, I've got 2d6. I've numbered these 2 to 10 and then I've put 11 and 12 on job offer um, to give us better chances of that. So let's find out. This is what we're going to do in October. All right, we got a nine, which is we we have decided we're going to do a robbery. <laughs> All these people are robbing people, right? We're like, look, man, those Joes, they inspired us to do a robbery. I think we'll start with a pickpocket. Um, and I think we will, I guess we'll just generate one, right? So we're going to go to the stadium. That's pretty straightforward. On the way to the stadium... I also saw how, how we're doing, uh, you know, this. You've got to roll a dice for every way to the stadium. Hang on, where's where's the thing? It's this one here. No, it's this one. Hey, this one. I said this one. There we go. So where are we? We're in Lower Gaia. Where's the stadium? Where is the stadium? Oh, it's in Pub and Rex. Okay, so it's just next door. So we, we roll a dice. If it's, you know, one or less, we have an encounter. No encounter. We're good. All right. So it's the number of stops you have between between them. In the heart of New Hope City, Oren Ryder finds himself at a crossroads. His spirit a little disheartened. He had heroically thwarted a bank robbery, saving the lives of bank employees only discovered that it had backfired. His credit score had plummeted, marking him as a liability after the event. It's a bitter revelation. Despite his good intentions, he still can't transition into better work. It's here that Oren, like many other working Joes, begins to question the system. The law, it seems, offers him no protection, having left him vulnerable to not one but two robberies in the past month. Frustration builds, and he contemplates bending the law to his own will. If it couldn't protect him, why shouldn't he start taking the law into his own hands? In a search for anonymity, he finds his way to New Hope City Sports Arena. A massive gathering place with throngs of people. It seems like the perfect venue to exploit an opportunity to pickpocket or perhaps make some much needed cash. Yet, as he observes the crowd, the people, the working Joes who are simply here to enjoy the game and take their mind off their daily doldrums, he feels a pang of guilt. Oren can't bring himself to rob another who, just like him, is trying to strive to make ends meet. He's just about to abandon the idea and head back home when he notices two suspicious sports fans? Just like him, they've been lurking, watching, and casing the hard-working folk here to watch the game. In a twist of resolve, Oren decides that he's going to pickpocket the pickpockets setting in motion a plan that will change the course of his journey in New Hope City. So we're going to go to the stadium, we're going to watch a game. Why not? The local sports ball team. 
apparently Oren Ren is a, uh, you know, maybe that's why he's going to the stadium, because he knows no one is ever going to um, look for him there. Let's see, who, who are we going to rob? That's a 10. It's Whoa, so we're taking some criminal justice out, hey? We're doing some criminal, we're going to rob a criminal. Six, it's a thief. Hey, maybe we see the, the thief that we, you know, not our friend, the thief. The, maybe we see another thief. And we're like, hey, man, we will um, we will rob them. How many are there? That's There's one more than me. And whoops, and there are number fives. So they've got four. So how does this work? Use this for quick and easy way to generate your pickpocket. Uh, oh, it's actually making a pickpocket. No, I want the other way around. Attempted pickpocket. Taken versus rep. So that is me. Uh, I have a rep of uh, five. Pickpocket is a basic female, blah, 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 victim, or a basic Zuzu male victim, suffers minus one D6. Okay, so here we go. We want less. It's opposed. Okay, so the bad guys are red. Though technically I'm the bad guy. I'm going to be red. They are going to be, um, they're going to be white. Here we go. Okay. So, uh, we said they were, they, they were, that's a fail. And that's two. So we got more. But I think in this case where, where we are the, um, like the victim got less than the criminal. Yeah. So I successfully escape and gain three. It says decreasing, but I'll be increasing. The pickpocket gains the same in increasing D6. All right. So there we go. I uh, have gained three increasing D6 by pickpocketing. Turning to a life of crime. But what happens next? Uh, pursuit, report to the cops, or payback. Let's roll. One, two, three, four. Well, let's do like one. Let's do a one, a two, a three, and then a uh, four, five, sorry, one, two, blah, one, two, three, because I think that's more likely, four, and then five, six is nothing happens, okay? So if we get a one, it's pursuit. If we get a three, it's payback. They're going to find, you know, they, they're going to come and find me and we'll have a confrontation. Um, and if it's a uh, two or a five and six, then nothing happens, all right? Nothing happens. They didn't notice. They didn't get any. They didn't get any details. I got away with it. I got away with some crime. There you go. That is our encounter for October. Um, we have had a. Uh, we're, we're starting to take on a, a life of crime um, <laughs> in October. That's our. That's our plan for now. We got away with it. We robbed. A, we saved a bank robbery. Plus, you know, morals. We robbed someone. Negative morals. Uh, what a journey it's been for Owen Ryder. All because he's just trying to find a job, but no one will give him a job. Uh, <laughs> oh, going home. He has to... Um, uh, we're meant to have an encounter before... Where'd that card go? We're meant to have an encounter before and after as well. Hang on. I forgot that. We better do that. Before and after, before we go to the stadium and after we go to the stadium. Uh, let's quickly do the encounter for before. What happened before? It was a shaker. Oh, hello. That's what we want. That's a five, which is an attorney. <laughs> Handy. <laughs> uh, we ran into an attorney before we decided to go on a, on a path of of crime. There's, in fact, two attorneys. Whoops. And uh, they are Rep 444 and 443. Uh, and we'll do some interacting, right? So, plus one for being cruel, minus one for being a Joe. Interact. Where's the interact? I need to put, like, a big sticky on the interact because we're doing it so much. Interaction. Here we go. Oh, okay. They failed too. We passed one. Remember, we've only got the four. So, uh, we passed more, so they're favorable. The attorney's like, yeah, man, sure. 
favorable reaction? Do we try to go, um, do we try to further interact with this attorney? I think no. I think we just keep them on the books. They become known to us. And what that means is next time we need them, we enter with a favorable interaction. So let's, let's leave that. And that's our, that's our shaker for today. Let's see on the way out after robbing someone, we've got a criminal. Look at that, another criminal. Okay, now hopefully this is someone who is going to be useful to me. A smuggler. Ooh, that sounds good. Now remember, this in this case is, uh, you know, an, an interaction opportunity. Well, oh, and I dropped another dice. All right. So let's see how many smugglers do we run into. Uh, less than me. So one. We run into one smuggler. Um, and their rep is going to be... Five. So they've got the same rep as me, so I don't get my my cruel um, stuff. Do I have to do a... You know what? We have gained so many... Um, we have gained so many positive encounter... Um, you know, po positive um, reps... That I am going to spend two, I'll be the red dice this time just because I have that many, to sweet talk, okay? So that costs me two. Um, but my goal is to try and get a job with this smuggler. So I'm going to keep one of these for later because this is a smuggler who I don't know yet. All right. Now, I failed one, but I passed two. And they passed two as well. So we got the same. So they're like 50-50. Oh, I'm going to use that other one that I spent. Because I want to have a positive. That was a six. So let's... Oh, that was so close to being a six. <laughs> All right. We have our positive interaction. I am going to... Um... I'll spend one more. Just so I have that. Just so I have that, um, you know, that possible edge. <laughs> okay, so we're asking the smuggler to give us a job. Oh, man, that is not good. But that's okay. They failed one too. But we are using... Um, we, we lose one because we're using our people skills, which we're not very good at. So it's the same. So, again, the smuggler... Does not want to give us a job. No one, no one wants to give us a job. We're all out of we're all out of uh, luck. You know, maybe he's like, "Nah, man, you're too hot." Properties people know you now because you stopped the bank robbery. <laughs> so we burnt all that energy for nothing. Uh, what a shame! But there you go. So um, that's our that's our month of October. It's been eventful. We got away with some crimes. <laughs> we, we stopped some crimes. We've got our, our good tally here. Um, have we left the board? Have we, we didn't have any encounters. So we'll put October there. Let's see. We can do our, we can do our finishing up for October here. So we've got uh, minus three. Well, we've got a big positive. One, two, three, four, five. So, we get to try and increase our rep by rolling five dice. Let's have a look how the increased rep goes. Oh, wait, we need to do our, um, we need to do our others, our negatives. Hang on. Hang on. We need to do our negatives as well. Where is the reputation? Okay. We've got to do our negatives. So, before we add five, let's get rid of the negatives. So... We don't have any band members. We haven't cut loose. We haven't applied to get stuff, though. Maybe we should get something. Now, our thing we said three minus two is one, so that's a minus one for that. Uh, we didn't leave the battle board this time. Um, we don't have any other negatives that we really need to worry about. I've included the sweet talk already. I didn't use star power at all. We don't have spaceships. We don't have a vehicle. Though maybe we should get a vehicle. Hmm. I'll look into this. Maybe that will be how we start next month is getting some kind of vehicle. And then we can do things like moving cargo and, and stuff like that. 
Um, all right, so that's minus one dice. So I get to roll four. Four to increase my rep. Okay, we got one six, we got one one. Uh, at the end of the month, increasing roll, your increasing rep. If at least one score is higher than your current rep, it goes up one level. Well, that's higher than our current one. If at least one score is six, it will go up by one level regardless of your current level. All right, well, that's where we're up to. Your rep can only go up one level regardless of DC. So we have gone up a level. So we are now rep six. It's a shame we can't put that into, like, savvy or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, hmm, that would be cool. But okay, so we're now rep six. What that does for us, though, that gives us a buffer. So if we do go down, we'll still be rep five, which is good. Um, but there you go. We're getting better. We're, get, we're getting a bit of reputation. And that makes sense, because we stopped the bank robbery, and we got away with crime. <laughs> we're getting our name out there, asking for all these jobs. So that is our game for this month. Very exciting. Well, where's the cover of the book? There we go. Thank you for following along, and I hope this was an entertaining video. Our story's starting to come together. Old Oren Ryder is getting getting stuff done. Uh, yeah, happy days. Thanks for watching, and I hope you are enjoying these videos. If you're not, let me know. <laughs>